Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a really simple triangle. So make sure that you've got the code and follow the video in drawing, you know, a point where we draw, well, not just a single point, multiple points, as you can see right here, because we'll be, you know, extending the code from there. Because a lot of it, once you've got it set up in terms of the buffers and the drawing and the canvas, you just have to change a little bit. So instead of rewriting again and again and re-explaining it, I'm just going to be extending it and just explain anything new. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is I'm going to update the vertices. So get rid of that. I'm going to put 0 0.0, 0 0.5, 0 0.0, minus 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5, and uh, why is there an equal there? And 0, 0.0. I need one more. Uh, 0 0.5, negative 0 0.5, and 0, 0.0. Okay, so if we have a look, no, nah, that don't look right. Something, uh, there, there. Technically, you know, it would work, but uh, the, what I had planned was this. So you can see we've got these points and by the end of the video there won't be points, they'll be connected and it'll be a black triangle. So next what you want to do is create an array called indices. And this is just basically specifying which indices we'll be using. So we're using 0, 1 and 2. It's just in case you have multiple potentially in the array and you're going to be using different ones. But for our case, we don't. This is very simple. And after we've unbound the array buffer, what we want to do is create an empty buffer object to store the index buffer. Because not only are we you know, using vertices, we're also using indices as well. So I'm going to put var index underscore buffer equal gl dot create create buffer and then what we're going to do is bind the appropriate you know array buffer to do to it so gl dot bind buffer gl dot element underscore array underscore buffer and let's say index buffer and next, next, what we need to do is, you know, get the vertex data and actually pass it into the buffer. So gl dot buffer data gl dot element array buffer new, and this is an unsigned int, uh, sixteen bits array, and we just pass in the indices. We're going to be using these. Okay, so finally we just specify the so GL static draw and we need to unbind the buffer like you know what we just did here. So we just do GL to unbind the buffer, you just bind it to null. Unfortunately, there isn't an unbind function. And we're going to do GL dot element. So the buffer, which is the element array buffer, is null. Okay, so there's a little change we need to make to the vertex shader. We don't need a point because remember, we're not having points anymore. It's going to be based on triangles. We're still using a vec free, we're still using free coordinates. Everything else is staying, staying the same in the vertex shader. It is only that little bit, little change. The fragment shader is also staying the same. The only little because there's a couple more changes that we need to make. So after we bind the vertex buffer, we need to bind the index buffer to the element array buffer here. So gl dot bind buffer gl dot element buffer index buffer and the only other chain that we need to really make here is instead of draw arrays, this needs to be draw elements instead of gl point, it's going to be triangles. And we specify the length of indices 
which is just indices dot length because it's an array we can use the built-in functionality and we need to specify you know the data type and it was an unsigned short if you remember uh, there we go so gl dot unsigned underscore short is zero so if we run that now we get a triangle it works make sure there's no errors and yeah everything looks good and that's it so that is how you draw a simple triangle we'll get into more complex stuff you know lines coloring texturing images you know model loading 3d objects all of that later on but this is the basis of getting you know to that so if you want to change you know the way the triangle looks this is what the way you know this is where you change it this is where you would you know change the size the shape because what I want you to do as an extra task is make it so it's a right angle triangle instead of an equilateral triangle that's it if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual I look forward to seeing you in the next video